With Office 365, you can use sites to store and share documents and collaborate on projects at any time, on any device. The default SharePoint site in Office 365 is called a team site. You and others in your organization can start using it right away by collaborating on work documents. But to make the most of your team site, you'll want to customize it to fit your business needs and use it as your own company intranet. Let's take a look at your team site in Office 365. To get there, choose Sites from the App Launcher. Then select Team Site. The team site has a logo, title, and navigation links. On the home page, there are getting started tiles, a news feed, and documents. There's also a OneNote notebook included on the site that can be used for collaboration. You can start adding work files to the documents location here. This is called a document library, and it's similar to OneDrive for Business. Here you can create and edit files or sync them to your computer. You can create additional document libraries for different purposes. Go to the home page and choose Add Libraries. Give it a name and click Create. You'll see the new library on the site contents page. It also appears in the recent navigation list on the left. In addition to document libraries, you can add other types of apps like lists. Instead of documents, a list stores data like announcements, contacts, or tasks. Let's add a contacts list to store our customers' contact information. We'll name the list Clients and click Create. There are more apps available in Office 365. You can also purchase apps from the SharePoint App Store, such as apps for finance, news, project management, and CRM. So far, we've added apps for storing documents and data to the site. But what about customizing the team site for the business and making it easier to use? Let's start by changing the site title and logo for our business. To do this, we go to Settings, then Site Settings, then Title, Description, and Logo. We'll change the title to Contoso Team Site. We'll also add a description, which appears if someone searches for the site in Office 365. Now we'll upload our Contoso logo, which will appear on every page of the site. Next, let's customize the home page, which is the first thing everyone sees on our team site. Choose Page, then Edit. Let's start with the page layout. We'll choose the three column layout with header and footer to give ourselves more places to put content. Now we'll remove site features that we don't need, like the news feed and the getting started tiles. If we change our minds later, we can add them back anytime from the settings menu. Next, we'll add a welcome message for our employees. Now let's customize the other items on the page. These are called web parts. First, we'll move the documents pane. We'll check the box in the upper right corner, then drag it over to the left. Since we're using OneDrive for Business along with the team site, we can add links to our employees' individual OneDrive locations. This makes it easy to access documents that someone has shared out from their OneDrive, even if they're out of the office. To do this, we just start typing right here. Let's call this individual storage. Now we'll type in each person's name. We'll select each name and make it a link to that person's OneDrive. Now when someone clicks a name, like Rob's, they'll see the documents he's shared out. Now we'll add a dynamic menu of top tasks to our page. This makes the page look more professional and makes it easier for everyone to finish common tasks. Under the setting gear, we'll choose Add an App. Now we'll select Promoted Links. Give it a name, Top Tasks, and Create. Now open it up and select All Promoted Links. Then choose Edit This List. At this point, we're going to enter a title and link location for each top task. We'll call the first task Agenda. I've already got a OneNote notebook set up for agendas, so I'll right-click on the notebook link here on the left and choose Copy Shortcut. 
Now I'll go back and paste it into the link location field. We'll basically repeat these steps for the rest of our top tasks. When finished, choose Stop Editing This List. Now let's return to our site's homepage and add our top tasks. Choose Page, then Edit. Place the cursor below our welcome message. Choose Insert Web Part. Under the Web Parts, select Top Tasks, then Add. Save the page, and we see our Top Tasks dynamic menu. To further enhance the Top Tasks menu, you can add your own icons. To do this, browse to the Site Assets location on the Team site, and upload your own graphics. We've provided example icons that you can download from Microsoft.com to get started. To add these icons to the Top Tasks menu, Copy the location of each icon. Go back to Site Contents and choose Top Tasks. In the List tab, choose the All Promoted Links view. Choose Edit the List. Then paste the address of each custom icon into the background image location space. Repeat these steps for each tile, then stop editing the list. Return to the home page and you'll see the custom top tasks icons. We finished customizing the team site for our business. Now what if we want to set up designated areas for collaborating with customers or certain employees? We can do this by creating subsites under the team site, one for each customer. We'll go to site contents and choose new subsite. Give it a name like HR customer and leave team site as the template. Now choose use unique permissions. This is important if you want people outside your organization to have access. Choose yes to display this site in the quick launch, no to display it in the top parent site, and yes to show the top navigation from the team site. On the next page, you can add other employees who will be working with this client, or if you want to be the only one in your organization with access to this subsite, leave this page as is. Then click OK. As you can see, this subsite looks just like the team site, so we'll repeat some of the same steps here. Since this is just for one customer, we'll make a few light changes. Hide the Get Started tiles and Newsfeed, and move the Documents pane over here. We'll add a welcome message, then save the page. To share this site with our customer, we choose Share. Enter the client's name, and we see that they can access only this subsite and not our main team site. If we go back to the team site, we see the customer subsite listed in the left navigation. We can add as many subsites as we need. Our team site and customer subsites are complete. Learn more about Office 365.